afternoon, Monkeys. John from Yorkshire Monkey. I hope you're doing well. Right. Every now and again, while I'm bringing you these uh, stories of police uh, misconduct and wrongdoings, uh, there's a story that, that just pops up that I just beg as belief. And this is one of them. Uh, how this even happened is, I don't know, you just can't fix stupid. This is just unbelievable. One-legged man with dementia, 93, dies after police taser and pepper spray him. Now, there he is. Now, he was, he was in a care home, and just the fact that he was there suggests to the attending officers that he has problems, dementia being a massive problem. Uh, personal experience of it myself with my, my parent, one of my parents. Uh... And it should have been handled totally different. So I'll read through it with you. Here we go. A one-legged 93-year-old dementia sufferer was pepper sprayed and tasered by police officers in his care home. The police watchdog has launched an investigation after the disabled Donald Burgess was subject to heavy-handed policing tactics. I think that's a bit of an understatement, is heavy-handed. Sussex police officers were called out to St Leonard's on Sea after receiving a report he had threatened staff with a knife. Officers used an electroshock weapon and parva spray, a noxious substance which attacks the eyes, on June 21st. The wheelchair-bound pensioner was taken to hospital but died there three weeks later. Independent Office for Police Conduct is investigating whether the allegations of use of excessive force, allegations of use of excessive force, by the officers amount to criminal manslaughter after Sussex Police referred itself to the watchdog. IOPC Regional Director Graham Beasley said, I want to express my sympathies to the man's relatives and those who knew him. We have advised his next of kin of our independent investigations and explained the steps we will be taking. Now, apart from it being a total, totally, totally tragic incident, I won't say accident because it wasn't, why has it been swept under carpet? This is from Thursday the 4th of August. It's not been shown in any mainstream media news channels that I'm aware of. Uh, it's been in plenty of newspapers, but why, is it, why hasn't it been picked up? What's happening? If this had gone totally public, there'd have been absolute massive uproar, unless I've been living under a rock for the last month, month and a half. I could have possibly missed it, but... Yeah, I'll leave you to draw your own conclusions with this. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, because... Uh, and Speechless. Okay, monkeys, we'll catch you soon. Like, comment, subscribe.